Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This is going to be my preview on Charlotte Flair, Bow Down to the Queen. Um, spoiler, she's by far the best lady tech in the game, in my opinion, and she is awesome. Uh, she's a modern era focused technician, and she has the SmackDown link, any color moves start with one more MP, and then modern era gems do 5% more damage. She does have a gear, uh, a bonus one, Bow Down to the Queen. Uh, it's going to be four more MP when you get that. Um, don't have that gear for this one. She does have 99 MP. These are all going to be feud ready builds. So we're going to ignore the 99 MP. Uh, her training ability, yellow gems do 40% more damage and red moves start with two more MP. Uh, that'll be useful uh, on definitely somebody I can't think of right now. Um, for this preview, 20% strap is, is all. Uh, Fury 2 full set and a green 200% move damage metal. No plate to start. We will probably use one. For sure, we'll use one uh, as we go along. And I have uh, basically three builds for you guys. I'm going to run a couple of them with two different uh, trainer sets, though. Um, yeah, let's jump in. Uh, figure 4 leg lock, 8 MP green submission, generate 40 rando sub gems, do 312k damage, 3 turns, remaining turn into botch gems, gut buster, 4 MP, deal 311k damage and choose 2 gems to make into 2 turn juggernaut gems that will steal up to 4.9 million health and then make 25 rando gems into black and then the 6 MP German suplex to deal 253k damage. Uh, and choose 10 gems to make into green gems. Uh, entourage for this one. Um, NWO Ted. This is important for Feud because he gives uh, one green MP to go with the two black. So a five match will get the figure eight leg lock loaded um, in Feud if you swipe into it. Uh, Woodsy. And then this is the important one for this build. Showboat Nakamura. Uh, he's the only trainer that buffs the Juggernaut gem health steal. So each Jug gem is going to steal 9.8 million health. And then we got Bruno for a little bit longer sub on here. We're going to go against uh, Silver Nikki. This is a bronze Charlotte, by the way. Six star bronze. We're going against the Silver Nikki on, an, on the tour here. <laughs> She's got 20 million health. Almost 21 million health. So you're going to throw your Juggy Gems out and then make a 5 match you swipe into. Which will load the sub and set the Jug Gem off. Mm, yep, let's do it like that. Boom. You can see we did uh, almost the full 20 million right there when the jug, two Jug Gems fired. Uh, so then just hit the sub to finish it. Uh, the only problem with this is it's not going to scale to gold. Um, that those that 20 mil health steal at gold will probably only be like 22 to 23 million. So it would take a couple sets uh, at gold. However, one thing you can do if you have it, if you have Oldberg, you can put him in and you're going to do about 30 million um, in your health steal. So that would take just two cycles at gold, probably. Maybe three. Golds have a lot of hit points. Uh, certainly, uh, this would decimate silvers, though, as well. Really nasty health steal. Um, the only downside is, like, boss battle attributes don't work on Juggernaut gems. So she would not be a good health steal uh, boss battle person, sadly. Swipey swipe, and then, you know, that did 30 million, so just hit the sub to finish it off. So yeah, that's a pretty nasty set. Uh, next up, triple grain. There's a few different ways you could go about this if you have... Um, 
Legend Bray, you would use him for this build set. Uh, so we're going to keep the sub, we're going to bring the Moonsault in, and we're going to bring the Knife Edge Chop in. Woo! Uh, all greens, so the Knife Edge Chop is 6 green MP, 293k damage, and choose 10 gems to make into green gems. You could use a Sheik Plate with this build, obviously. Um, and then the Moonsault Finisher, 580k, plus uh, 179k bonus damage for every botch gem. A lot of botch gem damage here. Again, this will be really good up till silver. Uh, don't particularly care for it at gold. Um, Bray would be better. He's obviously Muscle Man Bray. He's obviously more rare. So for this, we're just going to use Rhea for the two green MP. Um, gives five turns on the sub, which is kind of a negative, uh, in fact, uh, because you're not going to have as many botch gems. So... I mean, Regal would be the one to use for the sub trainer. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's just use Bailey. So Regal uh, would be three turns in a bigger sub. Let's use Bailey, though. Get a bigger finish. Um, and then Botch Gem Damage, Zombie Becky, 60%. Stacy, 50%. That brings the uh, botch bonus to 378k per. And like I said, you would run Sheik Plate with this. But this, I, I don't really, not really sure why uh, you would run this when, when Triple Blue is coming, to be honest. Uh, which is my favorite set. It's pretty good. Um, this would be loaded. Uh, however... The Moonsault wouldn't yet, so just do a three match. Um, I would actually do two threes, uh, because then you would recycle it. In case you don't win. I'm going to sneeze, I think. Turn my mic off, that was a loud one. Alright, so a bunch of botches out. And 2 million on the finisher, plus 378k per. She's got 18 million health left. You can see that's a 13 million pin. It's pretty effective um, against silvers. Like I said, that's good up to silver. Gold, uh, that's not going to be the way, though. All right. Here's my favorite. So, triple blue, we're going to start off, uh, if you don't have a 17k Santa. <laughs> it's basically uh, kind of very similar to Zombie Sammy triple green, to be honest. Which is not a bad thing at all. Uh, so, these are all 6 MP blue spear, 150... 2k damage, choose a 7x6 area to swap into green gems, then deal 424k damage and choose a 7x1 area to swap into blues. Big boot, 268k damage, make the bottom row into pyro gems that will modify all gems above it into green. And then the head scissor take down, 169k damage, increase your ge green gem damage by 113% for one turn. Entourage for this one, uh, like I said, this is the the no 17k Santa build, uh, Lawler, AJ, and then 20% greens here, and then uh, Lex for 12k flat greens. This is pretty fun. I like the combo move uh, a lot. So you're going to hit your buff. And this is all gem damage based. Make the bottom row into pyro. Um, you don't want to see this. You don't want to see greens on the bottom row. That's the only downside. That's going to cost us two columns. And then blow the board up with greens again. That did 9 million at 6 star bronze. That's 18 million... Um, with this setup at silver, and 36 million at gold. It gets a lot, it hits a lot harder as you go. Let's see what we do this time. 
much better. This this will keep both columns, so this should be much, much better. <laughs> oh yeah, and a bunch of greens. That one's gonna be uh, crazy high damage. Yeah, that was 10 million total, uh, which would be 20 at 6 star silver and 40 at um, gold. And this is only with a 20% strap and no plates. Uh, so let's go more rare trainers or 17k Santa. This is definitely how you would run it here. So Steiner, uh, big BPP adds 50% greens, um, to this. So nice boost there. This account of course does have the big Santa. And you would want to use a blue move damage metal for this. You'd get probably another mil, mil and a half. Uh, damage out of that this and this has a buff so the better strap you have the better this is going to scale as well oops do not do that we only lose one column here thirteen point six mil uh, 26 mil, 52 mil. You're scaling. And that's without a plate or anything. Uh, you're up to 52 mil. <clears throat> like I said, buffs, uh, gem damage scales crazy. So you want to put a Piper plate on this. Um, do, 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 do. That, of course, gives you 100% more gem damage when you make four pyros. Um, so this will show you, like, basically this would almost be the same as if you had 100% gem damage strap for her. And you can see how much more it's going to add. From 138k, 175k. Clean bottom row. And that's 17 million, which would be 34 um, and 68 million with a 20% strap. <clears throat> Obviously, uh, as you go up, that's gonna hit 70s, 80s, depending on the strap you have. Then of course, any kind of feud line bonus. Um, yeah, factor in the gear, you can add more green percentage if you get the gear. Uh, just pretty, pretty wild. She's amazing. Um, one of the best ladies in the game overall. Certainly the best tech. Um, I think she's crazy good. So, as far as where she fits in, yeah, like, she's, to me, the best tech. It's not even close. She blows, um, Becky and Nikita away. It's not even close. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to say other than it's not even close. Uh, and as far as best ladies, like, it would be her, at gold this is, it would be her, Jade, um, Rhea, uh, Indy, Kyrie. At gold, I'm gonna say probably, um, Drip Coda and Liv at Trickster. And Powerhouse. Zombie lives okay. And Striker at gold. Honestly, I'm not really thrilled about any of them. I would pick probably Sonya for gold, though. Um, for sure. But uh, gold uh, with moment. But I'm not really thrilled about any of them. I think she's probably better than anyone except potentially um, 
Rhea, Kyrie, Indy, Jade. Um, that that's where your debate would be. So easily top five lady in the game. Um, by far the best tech. Uh, huge needle mover as far as the upgrade at tech from like Nikita to bow down to the queen or Becky to bow down to the queen. Massive, massive needle mover. It's not even close. So to me this month, uh, by far the best one to get if you can get her, um, just because of the, the difference she'll make on your roster, uh, compared to the other stuff, like compared to the rest of the field. Yeah. Triple H is great. Um, Rock's okay. Uh, he's solid. He's not the best striker in the game, kind of even at all, though. Um, Triple H, I don't think, is the best showboat in the game. You know, he's very comparable to some of the best, so he doesn't really move the needle there, uh, whereas Charlotte completely moves the needle, changes your roster at Lady Tech. So if you can, if you go after only one this month, this is the one you want to get. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. It's been a while since I've done a video, been a while since I've done a preview, kind of rusty. I'll get the rest of them done um, in the next, probably this week, uh, into next week. I've got a lot of stuff going on, uh, but still here, still doing my thing. So remember to like, subscribe, and share, because that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Good luck out there. Oof, I really want this one. She is super.